What's happening guys, Keith here with a review of the one night only Cali Combat. So Impact Wrestling partnered with Big Time Wrestling to bring us this show. Uh, this was originally taped back in March, but aired last night on the Global Wrestling Network. Uh, I figured I wanted to add more stuff to the page, so I decided that I was going to review this. Hopefully I'll do more videos in the future. You know, maybe the Twitch shows, some one night onlys, things like that. Um, but this was a decent show overall. Um... We originally had Moose versus Alberto El Patron on the card, but that was removed due to the departure of Alberto. So they had replaced that with uh, three WrestleCon matches. Uh, so the show ran about two hours and 45 minutes. If you took out those WrestleCon matches, it was probably a two-hour show. So nothing crazy to sit through. Um, an enjoyable show, very house show-like. Uh, we had commentary by Sanjay Dutt and Josh Matthews, so... Let's get into things. So we open the show with uh, Jackpot Scotty Ringer versus Luster the Legend. He is uh, Luster is one half of Reno Scum. Uh, he was the crowd favorite in the match. Uh, got the crowd into it a few times, and he controlled the, the majority of the match. Um, Ringler got a, a little bit of offense in here and there. Uh, Luster ends up hitting a big spine buster and then a TKO for the win. Nothing crazy for the opening match. And uh, up next, we had Trevor Lee versus the fighting unicorn, Kimo. Uh, Trevor Lee was not liked by the California crowd, um, but we really didn't get to see too much from Kimo. This match was controlled the majority by Trevor Lee, um, you know, doing his normal heel stuff. Uh, Trevor ended up using the referee as a distraction, kicked Kimo in the head, and hit a double stomp for the win. Um, then we got an interview with Luster the Legend backstage where he says he took advantage of an opportunity and said he showed them what he's made of. He, he was asked then about the other half of Reno Scum. He said he's not sure, but he's still my brother and we're Reno Scum. If you think what I did in the Impact Ring tonight is brutal, wait till you see us together. So I don't know if they're going to be returning as a tag team, but Impact Wrestling definitely needs more tag teams. Um, they both have a good look and or work decently in the ring, so don't see any reason why they couldn't be a part of the tag division. And uh, we got our first WrestleCon match here, which was uh, Scott Steiner and Teddy Hart versus OVE. Um, of all the matches from the WrestleCon show, I don't know why they picked this one, um, but it wasn't a very good match. So up next, we have Katarina Lee versus Taya Valkyrie. Uh, Katarina was making her Impact Wrestling return in the ring here. Um... They started off with some chain wrestling, went back and forth for a bit. Taya went on the offensive, overpowering Katarina. I mean, this was a good match here. Uh, Katarina got some offense. She went, you know, kind of back and forth with Taya. Um, Taya ends up going for the road to Valhalla, but Katarina reverses it and rolls up Taya for the win. A little bit of a surprising victory, but it was her return match, so I guess that shouldn't be too shocking. Uh, Katarina looked pretty good in the, her return match here. Um, you know, a few steps behind Ty at some points, but nothing crazy, and uh, she should be a decent addition to the knockouts division. Um, then we had uh, Grizzly Cow Jack. He was kind of uh, dressed up in bearskin. Uh, he comes out and says, There isn't a dude in the back that can beat me. And his opponent for the evening? Well, none other than James Ellsworth. So Ellsworth comes out to a uh, pretty big reaction. Fans are obviously happy to see him. Uh, Cal Jack kind of uh, towers over Ellsworth. Uh, he starts beating the crap out of Ellsworth, and Ellsworth rolls out of the ring. They chase each other around the ring. Ellsworth gets back in. J uh, Jax goes for a uh, chin lock, and, well, since the man has no chin, he's unable to... Uh, Get him in that hold. He attempts that a couple times. Uh, Ellsworth gets put in a bear hug. Uh, he ends up getting out of it by biting Jack on the face. Um, he gets out of the ring, grabs a chair. Referee grabs the chair from Ellsworth. Ellsworth low blows Jack and hits a super kick for the win. Nothing special. Nothing more than a comedy match here, but uh, it was entertaining. I wasn't sure what I was going to see from James Ellsworth since this is the first time I've seen him in anything outside of WWE, but it was pretty much the same thing here. Then we uh, get another match from WrestleCon, and that was Killshot in the Mac versus LAX. This was a great match, so fitting for, it, for them to have this being showcased on the card. And that brought us to our next match of the Ballard Brothers with uh, Missy Carlisle, and uh versus LAX 
So the Ballard brothers are reaching 50 years old. I believe they were both 47. Just crazy to see them uh, in 2018. But uh, this match really wasn't was pretty good. I, I thought. Um, one thing I did not like, and I don't know, it almost feels like our intelligence is insulted by this. But uh, Josh makes a statement about Conan not being there because he was taken out at Redemption. And uh, this match was for the Impact Tag Titles. So LAX lost those titles at Redemption, and they're holding them here. It's just like, mm, come on, guys. You really didn't need to put that in. But whatever, it is what it is. Um, LAX controlled a majority of the match. Uh, the Ballards had, like, no offense throughout the first portion of the match. They started getting mounting a comeback, uh, double teaming. I think it was Santana. Uh, Missy Carlisle got in the ring, got I mean, uh, got involved a few times. Um, at one point, LAX was going for the street sweeper. She pushed probably Santana off the top rope. Uh, at this point, Ballards hit a uh, double team move of their own, got a near fall. Uh, they go in the corner, I think, attempting to suplex Santa, double suplex Santana on the top. Uh, Ortiz came over, held them both, and Santana hit a double street sweeper for the win. So, like I said, this was a decent match, um, and crazy to see uh, two almost 50-year-olds moving pretty good in the ring. So, um, Up next, we have Ali versus the Warrior Princess Samara. Uh, this was for the Knockouts title. Um, not a bad showing for Samara. Didn't seem to be quite on the same level as Ali here, but nonetheless, they put on a decent match. Pretty even back and forth. Uh, Ali ends up hitting the best super kick for the win. Nothing crazy there. Uh, and then we had Eddie Edwards versus Matt Seidel. This was probably the best match of the night. Um, both men work great together. You know, th there was no reason we weren't going to get a good match out of the two of them. Uh, Seidel obviously trying to work a faster pace with uh, Eddie trying to slow Seidel down and uh, get the upper hand. Uh, Edwards threw a couple of uh, nasty-looking chops to Seidel. His r chest was super red. Um, but, yeah, like I said, this was a fun match. A lot of back and forth. Bunch of near falls. Crowd was getting into it. Uh, Seidel hits a no-hands Hurricane Rana and then finishes Edwards off with the Shooting Star Press. Uh, I forgot to mention this match was for the X Division Championship, so not a surprise with uh, Seidel retaining the title here. And then we got the six-man tag match from WrestleCon, which we saw a few weeks back as well on Impact Wrestling, which uh, tore the house down. And it was a great match at both shows. So, again, makes sense to showcase this match on the show. And that brought us to our main event of uh, Eli Drake versus Austin Aries. Eli cuts a promo before the match. Great as always. Uh, we had a split crowd here, half for Aries, half for Eli Drake. Uh, but this was, uh, this was a good match, back and forth, even. Um, very, very much like a house show match. We had a couple of comedy spots with uh, the two of them trading atomic drops and Manhattan drops, and the two end up sitting in the crowd together after, you know, having both these drops done on them. Um, then, you know, just uh, a solid match back and forth. Uh, Aries heads up to the top. I think he was going for the 450 splash. Eli bumps into the referee. Referee hits the ropes sends Aries down to the mat um or into the center of the ring I should say uh Eli goes outside grabs one of Aries titles goes in the ring hits Aries with in the face with the title one two Aries kicks out um Eli sets up for the gravy train Aries is able to counter it rolls him up and that was that so uh this was a match that was for the Impact World Championship um, so obviously Aries was going to retain, um, but they didn't mention anything about, you know, this match being in the current setting because obviously Aries is not the, uh, the champion, but whatever. Uh, but yeah, like I said, it was a solid show overall. Um, not bad for the one night only. I think the, uh, Canadian one they put on before this was, uh, was a better show, but again, like I said, Decent enough, nice and short if you cut out the WrestleCon matches where it doesn't feel like you're sitting there forever watching a show. This has been my one-night-only review. If you like what you saw here, please like, share, and subscribe. Thanks, guys. Bye.